Hello, beautiful human. You have been asking for this interview, and it's finally here. Liz Gillies, back on the Zach Sang Show. I love this human being for, uh, I don't know, we've been friends for so long. We try to do the math in the interview. Uh, it's not just Liz Gillies, but uh, there's a special guest in there, too. It's a monkey. Watch. Enjoy it. Leave your honest feedback in the comment section below, please. And also, subscribe. And we have a podcast. Link in the description below. Okay. Enjoy another classic interview with Liz Gillies. The best. Let's do this. I've been teasing Liz with this for like two and a half weeks. <laughs> this is peaches. Put your hand out. Palm up. We're going to drop a grape in it, okay? okay. Don't overreact. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> this is a monkey. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see it now. Right, take, take the blindfold off. Oh my god. Can we just real slow? Yes, of course. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to try on my ring? We're not the exact same ring size, but I feel like you can maybe wear it as a bracelet. Wow. <laughs> like, he nodded. Can you call me an Uber now? <laughs> hey, it's the Zach Sang Show, and we got Heather. Hi. We got Dan. That's me. And we welcome Liz Gillies and our new friend Jasper to the studio. Woo! I don't want to be too loud. Don't want to scare her. Oh, she's so cute. This is the best. <laughs> Liz texted me about three weeks ago talking about coming back on the show and she's like, we should do something. First of all, um, I'm just going to stop you there. You asked me if I wanted to do the show <laughs> and I was like, if, you know, maybe. And I gave my availability and then you canceled on me four times? <laughs> Twice. That sounds about right. But just because I wanted to do something different because you yeah. you were like, we should do something different. Change it up this time. Sure. And, you know, we could have done... You did. You really did it this time. <laughs> we could have done, you know, question games or sure. bits. And I, sure. But no. We could have drank again, but no. <gasps> oh, Jasper. Oh. So that's what I was talking about. <laughs> when I, I just, like, one second ago asked if if the monkey noise could happen. And I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm glad I heard it. <laughs> I'm too nervous now, but maybe later. Try then. to speak to her. Do, do a bit. Jasper? <laughs> that's, not it. that's not the one. She hated it. G give it another. I think you're almost there, though. No, that's a bird. Yeah. <laughs> you want to hear this? No, I don't want to upset. Them. I'm not going to upset the um. Let's hear the it. Monkey. No, it's okay. I'm not going to do it. But Jasper's cool, so, so she's going to hang out the whole interview, and yeah, and I'm not going to get distracted at all. <laughs> <laughs> Dynasty season one is officially wrapped. I want a tail. What? <laughs> what would you do with the tail? What? Um, just like drape it over my shoulder, yeah. or wear it as a scarf, <laughs> or tie my grocery bags to it so I could just drag them home. That's efficient. <laughs> that's, that's, what wouldn't I do with a tail? That's what Jasper a does. I, I feel like you know, we'll evolve into that one day. I feel like my voice is upsetting, Jasper. I have a, not a good voice. It's low and raspy and scary and I feel like maybe, what? I don't know, I just want to impress Jasper. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, whatever. I'm just yeah, she's, not ha she's not impressed at all right now. She's not no. having you. Nor should she be. <laughs> I wouldn't be. <laughs> Dynasty just wrapped. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sorry, no, yeah, it was, yes, thank you, thank yep. you. You ready for season two? Yeah, it's coming fast. It's it's one of those um, work for nine months, like get home, about to lay down, go back to work for nine months <laughs> situations, yeah. but I'm happy to do it. I love I love the cast and I love the show, and Atlanta's really cool. I had a fun time in Atlanta. I ate a lot of food. There's a lot of good food. A lot of Southern cooking. Yeah, I don't eat a lot of the Southern cooking because I can't have most of the ingredients in Southern food. But I found there's a couple spots where I know to take my family and people who can eat. Got it. Yeah, what'd I love it. What'd you learn from shooting season one? Um, what what not to do and what to do and I don't know the usual things. You watch things back. Luckily, we were shooting while we were airing, which I have never done. Interesting. So I got to see. On a shallow note, I'd be like, all right, I'm not going to wear my hair like that again. I won't make that face again. I won't try that acting choice again. Shallow things like that. Were I'm an A-list actor. <laughs> <laughs> Were you watching every episode? Uh, yeah, I watch every episode. I want to see how they come out. Um, Are you taking mental notes or are you taking physical notes? I, I haven't written since I was in sixth grade. <laughs> I don't even know if my, I can write you, with a pencil anymore. You for, um, you've forgotten penmanship? I mean, do you write with it? Well, you probably do because you, oh, look, you have little notes. Yeah. I don't have an actual job. So for me, it's like, what would I need to, <laughs> like, I don't write notes on my script. Well, that, how do you break down a role then? Like, how, how do you process my head, those lines? Everything's in my head. And I usually memorize my lines. This isn't good, but I usually memorize my lines in hair and makeup or on the way to set. 
What, do you why? What, but why do you think it's, that works for you? It works for. I've been told by many people it doesn't work for me. <laughs> <laughs> I should take more time and really like learn, learn it, and let it marinate and like, sit do your with job. It. Yeah, do my job. Yes. yes, do my job. Exactly. <laughs> but I like to. I don't like to be. In a pl- unless it's something crazy, unless it's something very intense, and then I understand that that's what it requires. But I once I have an understanding of the role, especially this, I get the tone, I get the show, I get the character. It, I memorize things very, very quickly, and then they're very fresh in my brain, and they don't get stale, yeah. and I kind of like that it. So I go out there, I memorize it to my head for 20 minutes. I read it the night before, but I don't like work on it. Is I'm, un- I'm unprofessional. Do I mess up a lot? Yeah. I do myself a lot, but when I get it, man, oof. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Tears oh. flowing. The Oscars just start like flying in my head. I'm like, oh my God, get them away. I have too many. I have too many, but um, yeah, it's really good. I'm a really good actress. Is there any improv <laughs> on set? Like, are you ever going off book? Never. Not on this. No, I can't. It was funny because the, the last show I was on on FX, it was all improv. Um, what do you and like? I love that. Yeah, what do you like more? I love improv, yeah. but this is so, I couldn't, if you gave me six years, I couldn't make up a line to squeeze into. Everything is like business jargon or like oil mm-hmm. talk or the very complicated storylines in our show. Like anyone who's missed an episode, you can't miss an episode. You have to watch it. It's a very serialized, it's like a soap opera. But so that's why so it's much goes, like 50, like 50 people die every episode, even if there's only 30 people in the show. <laughs> it's just a very, it, there's so much going on. So improving would be. I think they left in one improv of mine this year. Whoa. But so you do yeah. try to make those choices. One time. I was in a loopy mood and having a good time with the director. And he said, all right, we'll, we'll leave it in. And they did. So that was nice. That's pretty cool. Oh, it was cool. Are you ready for this show to have like a second breath of life once it hits Netflix? Yeah, it's going to be really crazy. I think we go to Netflix and after we air, we finish airing. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot there was a monkey here. <laughs> <laughs> You've been so quiet. Oh, I want your life. Do you want you, you you can feed her a grape. She can come oh, and hang out I, by you. Not that I don't want to talk about the show. It's just there's, there's a monkey, a monkey, in the monkey room. next to me. That yeah. never happens. <laughs> I can do both at the same time. I assume <gasps> you've never worked with a monkey oh, or an oh. animal. I've never worked. Oh, it's oh. okay. Come to me. <laughs> I'll be your I'll be your rock. She's like, she's like, I'll take care of you. She oh, don't, she don't need you. Little friend. She is. <laughs> little friend. She is Steve. Eat the crib. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh, eat it off me. It's fine. It's fine. I like the hand feeling as well. More grapes. More grapes. It's like. Won't look at me. Won't look at me. <gasps> Please, you mean everything to me. <gasps> no. Oh my god. Look. She's too busy eating the other grape. It's okay. I don't need the hand. I know what it's like not to be loved, so. Oh my god. <laughs> This isn't unusual <laughs> for me. It's not a new sensation. Um, it's okay. My dog was actually in a mood when I left this morning. Otis? Yeah, he was. I took a picture of him, though. And let's not talk about my cracks. My my screen isn't cracked. A really new thing happened. <laughs> I don't like this iPhone. I know I'm not going to get any endorsements with Apple by saying <laughs> that, but they weren't exactly calling anyway. Is so. it the 10? <laughs> is it the new say, one? I don't like this phone. Mm. I, I, in fact, I hate it, but I dropped it. Usually you get a crack, you're like, eh, this is what happened to me. There's a giant white line <laughs> down the middle of her screen. <laughs> like, wow. It's really distracting. It upsets people in such a visceral way that now I like it. <laughs> Does that you upset you? It's yeah. upsetting. You have to, you have to re-click because, the button. Because, yeah. what? It's a black screen black right now. now. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Be- that's my son. Um, because. <laughs> it's her dog. Yeah. So you like the, the, the line. Sure. Steve, Steve wants nothing to do with us. Um, I know this is like, who is this? Um, but when I watch videos, it cuts right across the pupils <laughs> of the eyes every time. I don't know why. And then now in my bedroom, we got a like a bed with four posts, like a canopy bed, like a modern type of bed. Um, and the post is right in the right side of the TV for only where I sleep in bed. So I never see whoever's on the right. I watched Ariana on Fallon last night, and thank God she was sitting on the left because I never would have seen her. I would I did. Wouldn't have known what she was wearing. I would have been all Jimmy Fallon. Your so. whole life just blocks out the right side. I just there's something that the universe doesn't want me to see. You can move the TV, no? No, it's mounted. Okay. It's an ordeal. Fair enough. The bed is better. The bed won. So yeah. I'll just watch TV. Yeah, that's cool. I have a lot going. You'll on. suffer. It's fine. I have a lot going on. How are you? Doing well, dude. Yeah. I really, I, you know, you you were saying that you get more and more uncomfortable the more professional. Oh, I'm really uncomfortable right now. Obviously, I don't even know how. My face is twitching. I kind of. Your arms are crossed. I don't know you well enough, but I would be totally just like doubling up with Jasper right now and hiding in your armpit right now if I could. <laughs> it's a, oh, okay. Um, maybe in a second. I just, yeah, I'm uncomfortable because you used to have a really 
not but like it, it was, was not it was like your first one was just sort of paint by numbers exactly now this is a whole operation i actually went in a conference room with people and super like you have a con i just don't understand what's going on <laughs> so that's my main source of confusion right now it's really changed over the years but you've you've been to every single studio we've ever had for i think it's been nine years yeah. now. yeah I'm available. <laughs> you call, I come. It's the highlight of my year. I wore pajamas again for you this time. Thank you so Not much. Not for you, but just more because they make me feel a little more comfortable. It, it's so formal here. I mean, luckily, this, it's, a, it's a little, there's balloons everywhere and it's a bit messy, so that makes me feel better. It, and Dan's Happy here. birthday, by the way, darling. Thank you. Thank you. You know, there's nobody who loves birthday more than Liz Birthday. Gil- birthdays. <laughs> You 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 Liz appreciate birthday. <laughs> Liz appreciates birthdays. I, do. I like birthdays. They matter I brought to you. you. Didn't bring you anything. That's the first sign that you know someone appreciates a birthday. But you tried. <laughs> I did. I tried to get you champagne this morning, but they don't deliver alcohol before noon. Uh, noon. So they, I kind of got a message from Saucy, the alcohol delivery app. That's like, what's going on? Like, are you okay? <laughs> Everything good? A hotline number. I was like, what's this? Is it where I call to get the alcohol? Um, but I was going to get you a really nice bottle. Thank, thank you. The, yeah. the thought matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, always. Dan hates birthdays. You love birthdays. That means that's you probably had a bad experience. Whoa. Oh, Wait, what? <laughs> oh my God. First of all, when my mouth is moving into the microphone and talking, you shut up. <laughs> second of all, second of all, I don't like that you hate birthdays and special occasions and gifts. We talked about this in the past. And it yes. makes me think that you had a very rough experience when you were young that you don't like birthdays like maybe a clown touched you or something <laughs> i know i'm not gonna assume i'm not gonna do that but if i were that would be my assumption uh no hey. didn't happen from what i can remember right, well sure but, but your mind's a crazy thing it probably blocked it out that's yeah. it maybe but, yeah. like it, it keeps that moment but yeah. really it just makes me feel uncomfortable birthdays they make me feel awkward you know you're, it's a bunch of unwanted attention I, I understand that i understand that i get that but but it's only for one day Everybody deserves that day. Says the where boy they... wearing a little mini crown. <laughs> <laughs> this crown will stay on my headphones forever. Okay. Um, but uh, I don't know. I think one day, hopefully, you'll appreciate birthdays because you're really good. You, you're always on it. You're like I love a party. Yeah. You, yeah. It's a. You, I love a theme too. I love a costume. Oh. I love a wig. You everything, even down to the invitations that you send out when you, you throw a theme party. The twist is that no one usually comes. Is the one thing that's always like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> people come. You, you lately? Well, I, I my my boyfriend used to have these big parties, and everyone used to come, kind of open house type of vibe. And I don't like people. It's something about me. It's not something I hide. I don't like you know. I I, I don't know. It's too like many people. I get very nervous. So um, when I moved in, when I moved in, when we started dating. I was like, no, no more of that invite only so the parties started whittling down more and more and more and guess what when you invite 400 people 200 people 100 people show up so when you invite 20 people like i'm getting four people now <laughs> usually that comes like i had a christmas party it was so sad i had pneumonia but i powered through because i'm a warrior and there were <laughs> so six people and there and it was just like all my santas it was really dark it was kind of like a weird sad like unloved housewife moment for me and it's interesting but yeah some of the parties were good but do you like it better because there's less people? You don't like people. It's no because then they leave early. You kind of mm. need the little the, the randos sometimes. The, yeah. You need their spice. And you, spice. you threw spice. a really great New yeah. Year's Eve party. I'll forever remember. It was a Year, big one. Years ago, that was during the same time when yeah. the people were coming to my house. It's quite an extravaganza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What surprised <sighs> you from shooting season one of Dynasty? Um, just. It's been, it, again, it had just been a minute uh, since I had done a show that labor intensive since probably Nickelodeon. So it's, you know, 13 to 16 hour days every day. And um, we had really, we had a lot of fun on the weekends though. Our cast is wonderful and we had a good time. It surprised me. I, I don't know how, honestly, how many words that I don't know, <laughs> I can make them sound like I know. Like I sound like I know what's up with oil. <laughs> With business, I can be a CEO. I sound like uh, she's got this. I don't. I never know what I'm saying. <laughs> I ever. I never know what I'm talking Are about. You and then I'll, I'll understand it when I watch it back. But on the day, I just make a. I make the same stern face, and then it sounds. And people buy it. So that's cool. Do you practice that face <laughs> in the mirror, or do you? Do no, like I'm tr- done with that. Whatever comes out now at this point, that's my face, and that's what it's going to be. I'm not altering it. Not getting any work done. The faces I make are the faces I make. It's old hat at this point. You hire me, you know what you're getting. (laughs) (laughs) You're getting the same meal. It's a good looking face. (laughs) Oh. Exactly. You're welcome. Is this birthday going to be different for both of us? <laughs> I've been waiting 25 years. Oh. oh. Is that how old we are? Yeah. Imagine if Liz is the one. 
Mm. <laughs> I don't think she wants that Let's role. Not do that. How are you? Day I'm fine. Well, you always flip it on me when you get uncomfortable. <laughs> It's, it's funny, like the moments that I'm most comfortable, I get I get like so comfortable on board and I flip it on you. I'm not uncomfortable right now. I think you're uncomfortable. But who have you been dating? What have you been doing? <laughs> Me? Dating? Yeah. Come on now. He doesn't All right. date. Yeah, that's for normal people. <laughs> 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 Whatever. When, okay, great. When's the last time you thought about Jade? Jade from Victorious? Yeah. I think about Jade a lot because I go out... Um, and to public and I think people are going to recognize me for the new thing I'm on and it's never that once it's, a- it's never that thing so it's always di- it's always um, victorious and I'm, and I'm, and I'm thankful mm. I love it but there's dynasty fans I mean my there mom are. really loves it she watches it she watches yes. the new one yes. that's cool I told you last time she should be on the show because she loved the original dude she's obsessed with the original really? what was it like meeting Joan Crawford Joan Crawford? Yeah. <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> Wait, I actually can't. It. I'm, I'm nervous. My face isn't making the face I want right now, you, but you have to understand what a massive, colossal fail that is. <laughs> Wait, how bad Joan is it? Joan Crawford? I want you to... No one, Wait, say, anything. No one say anything. Go online oh, and Google gosh, a picture of Joan Crawford. Gosh darn. I don't want to. Wait, wait, she's this not. Is what we deal it. with every day. I mean, you understand that that's I a bad one, right? Even I mean, like we. Jasper get it. gets it. Jasper, Joan Crawford. <laughs> Are you getting this? <laughs> Jasper, Joan Crawford. Oh, sister's dead. <laughs> she died in 1977. Thank you. <laughs> you even know who Joan Crawford what? is? That's a whole other. That's a whole other show. It's a whole other lesson. I met Joan Collins. That's it. I'm so sorry, but she was in the original Dynasty. I saw you guys. Yeah, at Joan Crawford wasn't. No. Because of the whole died in the 70s. <laughs> She couldn't make it. She almost did, but she had to. She was busy. Um, Joan Collins. Yes, I went to. Um, I went to a charity gala. I didn't know what big deal. It, it, what a big deal it was. It was a really big deal. I didn't know why I was invited. It was, it was for wonderful. Alzheimer's. It was not for Alzheimer's. Oh, <laughs> what was boy, it for? MS. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I think you should cut this whole part out. This is not reflecting well on you on your birthday. <laughs> another year older, not another year wiser. No, but what was it like meeting her? I mean, oh yeah, like let's actually wait. But hold on, like like stop embarrassing me. <laughs> Um, it was um, it was incredible. I saw her. I was so excited because I studied her before I did this. I watched so much of the original Dynasty. I loved her since I was a kid. Um, she was she was nice. I, I was with Matt, and he gave me the courage to go up to her, and he took tons of pictures of us talking, and uh, it was really exciting. She paid me a couple compliments. I appreciated that. I either wanted her to compliment me or insult me. Because, you one. know, it's like little kids used to ask me to insult them because they like that when they they know someone is like a, a more stern character it's fun when they get uh, verbally berated by them but she didn't she was very nice and she complimented me and uh it was i told her she has an open invite to be on the show because why not I, do you have the authority to do that i don't have that <laughs> i don't ask anybody but i don't know why that would be a problem because she's the she's she's the queen so yeah. she said she's doing american horror, horror story with ryan murphy oh next. stop so she's tied up I that's like, gonna oh be cool God, that. I, <laughs> I was like wait they got a roll on that for me <laughs> i'm totally kidding <laughs> i'm very happy at my home on dynasty but how has incredible. the reaction it was pretty been incredible and this is the crazier thing. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, um, <laughs> the crazier thing is that the woman. <sighs> I kind of want to grab. Um, <laughs> the woman she, who was the. Um, <laughs> oh, I just want the monkey. She was the uh, founder of the charity event. Um, she, her family, her family the dynasty, the original dynasty, was based on them. So that played a part in my being invited, and oh. they, she was a fan of the new dynasty. It was pretty incredible. It went from me being like, "Why am I here?" to to there was actually a very serendipitous, cool reason I was there, and it was really cool. Matt and I, Matt and I had fun. He's really an interesting bird to take to these charity events <laughs> and these events. Well, you he's took him he's to more the... fun than I am. He's like a young kid, so he likes to be out. And the charity event was very up my alley. It was at the Beverly Hilton. It was Ooh. like formal. And then we went to this party recently, the Marie Claire thing. You look I went great. To. I'm just trying to go out. I'm just trying to go out of my comfort zone and get out of my box. And so Matt's <laughs> like, oh, it's a party with dancing and young people and like Fresh like a faces. lot of bass. Let's have fun. And I was like, this, and I mean bass. Like as music, not as like I know people say bass is a butt. Uh, but you're I so young and hip. <laughs> she's she's with it. Dude. I think there's a song about that. But I wanted to leave, and so I'm not a good wingman for him. We determined. He thought I'd be a good wingman. Yeah, I he, thought I'd be a great wingman. Well, because he goes he in said, looking. People are scared of me. I'm like, why are people? No, I don't do anything. But I looked pretty intense that night. I kind of look like a man, <laughs> which is fine. But I looked like a, a mafia man. But you, you were wearing this red it was huge. suit. It was orange. It was beautiful. So I, he really does his research. You know he what I mean? He when I come in, it's like his vacation week. He's like, yeah. let me sit back, say whatever <laughs> crap comes into my mind. Don't cry. 
I even Googled that before we started, and I'm an idiot. <gasps> Jasper. Take it and leave, man. Sorry, right, listen. I'm just happy to share a couch with you. It is cool that you get to go to those parties, though. Like, the fresh face party is a big deal. Is it? Yeah, it's a lot of, like, young Hollywood shows. I have a very up. fresh face, so for me, <laughs> I've, been, I've been walking this old bag around for 10 years all over Hollywood. <laughs> Look how far it's gotten me. Get- it's, it's, it's gotten you pretty far. You're out of Tenafly, New Jersey in Hollywood. I'm not from Tenafly. Like, what's uh, going uh, on? You okay, you're from the, the city right next to it. No, I'm not. Are you from... I don't How long s- have we known each other? Long time, but I don't want to say... Uh, Hallworth? Oh, don't say my town name. <laughs> but don't say the wrong town name. Just say... Oh, forget it. I don't okay, never anymore. mind. How do you guys do this every single day? It's hard. Mm. It's so every hard. Day. It's hard. Sometimes it's hard, right? Like you, you seem like a lovely guy, but you can admit. Sometimes it's not the best. You want me to say that? Yeah. <laughs> you want that? Your agreement is enough. <laughs> the fights, well, you want to go? Well, I just want to know how we, you kept you kept referring back to the original. How has the reaction been from the original Dynasty fans? Um, it's been pretty good. Again, I really think we're in an era now. And not again. I love when I say again, and I've never said the thing before. <laughs> time. Like, I'll say it one more time, and it's a new thought. Um, I think when we go, like we are pretty big right now in other countries because we were you know, international from the beginning, but not here, not in America, and that's going to happen after. And I think that those are where people are really watching the show, getting into the show, and so people want to wait to binge it here. So the fans here haven't been as vocal as the fans who get to watch it all in one day, who are just like, you know what happens when you just mm-hmm. engulf yourself in a show and you just power through it and blah, blah, blah. But I think the original fans, to go back to your question, I think they're digging it. The ones who, like, accept it as a new thing. It's very different. It's a whole new vibe. CW, you know, different people. Different, we've made a lot of character changes, but if they like camp and they love the show, especially since Alexis has entered, I mean, we've had pool fights. <laughs> we've had everything. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're doing the best we can at paying homage to all those campy moments, and I'm certainly camping up my performance to almost a <laughs> Razzie level. <laughs> so I'm doing my part. Would you be okay <laughs> with getting a Razzie? Yeah, oh my God. I'd accept it in a gown. <laughs> I'd accept, I, are you kidding me? I would love to get a Razzie. Would you bring your parents? I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm that bad on the show. And also, I don't think you can get a Razzie for TV. But if I worked really hard, I have a very dark sense of humor, especially with myself. So if I worked really hard at something, a movie that I thought was going to get an Oscar for, and then I got a Razzie, that would be really humbling, <laughs> and it would be so sad that I'd have to just own it and go in like the most expensive <laughs> gown. I'd like to do, take out a second mortgage on my home. I'd, I'd pay for myself because no one would dress me for a Razzie. <laughs> I'm kind of fantasizing about it now. I get excited when things are going to go wrong. Like, I thought you were going to humiliate me here today. I thought that was a surprise. Oh, no. I thought you were going to get, like, all people who bullied me or that I bullied in high school. There's a long list of both. There's not that many, but no. there's, you could find people if you just dug a little deep. And, and I thought you'd be so here and they'd all have, like, one question. Or, no, you know that there was an SNL skit where they have, like, <laughs> like every person who has a small job in your, in your company or your job or every crew member, and they go, what's my name? <laughs> and then people just are like, oh, you know, it's it's Randy. It's like, what's my name? You've worked with me for six years. What's my name? Like that's my fear too, because I'm bad with names. If anyway, you, you didn't do it, so I'm glad. Well, there's a monkey here instead. <laughs> no, it's this is way better. This is way better. Those fight scenes, though, you're talking about campy moments. There looks like a lot of preparation that goes into those. Yeah, there's a lot of prep. The one in the pool was really mm. cold. It was like deep winter, and we um what. He just gave like a really deep moan when you mentioned the pool scene. I just imagined me myself wet? in there. <laughs> me versus Liz fighting in the pool. Angel. He's, she's into it. Mm. <laughs> I'm just upset by it. We don't know. But, but those things are choreographed. Like you can't yeah, go. Yeah, they're choreographed. You they, can't skip a beat. Like you know every no, move. I mean, no, no, yeah. You know, well, sort of. I mean, we kind of just improv drowning me on the day. That was, that was fun. That was interesting, but uh, it's all good. Do you, fr- I mean, w- w- that was real. Like if somebody was, I mean, I was do you me freak under out? the water. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't freak out. It was Why fine. do you have to choreograph a fight scene in a pool? Why can't you just say, all right, you we two, did, go we did, we did. battle we did that. in a pool? That's what we did. We didn't oh. choreograph the one. We had to choreograph the jumping because we could crack our skulls and stuff mm. like that. Yeah. That's a really scary. I'm kind of like a firefighter. <laughs> my job is just really dangerous all the time and I'm just, I take my life in my hands every day. So brave. <laughs> I'm, I'm brave and I'm a lifesaver. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So strong. Yeah. She agrees. I'm so strong. She gets it. Yeah. Oh, uh, we have a few questions from Twitter. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> this is from Butera Gillies. Okay. She asks, who do you adore more, Jade, Gigi, or Fallon? I think I have to say Jade because people will be very upset with me. So, Jade. What's you, your real answer? Uh, Jade. <laughs> Who's more, that's my answer, too. Jade. Is it? Jade. Yeah. Jade. Well, Who's no more like you? Else, but what? Who's more like you? Um, I've, I've, ch- I, I was, I feel like I was more like each of them during that phase of my life. So now, 
sadly, I'm I'm most like Fallon. I'm really, I'm really intense. This is I'm good. This, I'm fine to be like. I, I, if you hung out with me for longer, you, I'm a lot more intense now. We, uh, I negotiate everything. <laughs> I take no prisoners even more. I'm kind of meaner. I'm excited for brunch it's now. It's fun. Yeah, brunch will be great. I, I'm really rough on the waitresses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> it's honestly fine. It's honestly fine. I'm, I'm, I am. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. I'm really healthy. It's really good. Do you get to keep the clothes? <laughs> Never, no. No. Have you they're, a- they're so beautiful and high-end that um, I understand why they don't want me walking away with them. I think if the show gets canceled, I get to keep them. Not that I want that to happen, but I will get to keep them. <laughs> that's a huge deal. It's a huge deal. I forgot. I think that's what happens when your show is kind of like going to get canceled. You kind of call the wardrobe lady and you're like, hey, can I have it all? And then she's like, take it. This please. Did you do that with Jade? Sailed. I took a couple of things. Her most iconic things. I took her red Doc Martens. I took her spiky Doc Martens. I took her Jade cuff. I had know everything because I didn't take that much stuff these black jeans because they look good on me that's beside the point I wore them for years after (laughs) and then I took their little it's like a um, is it a nut like a screw in a nut no honestly what do you call it a bolt a bolt maybe (laughs) okay yeah a bolt necklace it was her and she and Beck had them I took that too ooh yeah I should auction them them off I really get in trouble or like let it go to charity um, I think I'm going to probably keep it, but yeah, if I don't have any money, I'll auction off for money. <laughs> that, that's a good idea. <laughs> You're like 40, 50 years from now. It's honestly fine. They'll pay for your kid's college or something. Yeah. Or I'll just put them in like a glass box in one of my hundred mansions after I'm a really super big star. <laughs> just yeah. put them on display. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. This is from Amanda, please. Also on Twitter. Cute. I love that show. Would you be friends with any of your characters? Uh, I probably wouldn't. This is so weird, but I probably wouldn't because I'm too close to all of them, and I don't really get along with people that are like me. Fair enough. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Do you guys get along with people that are just like you? Probably no. not. I find them very annoying. <laughs> now you know how <laughs> you we feel. Mouthful. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> I'm just being honest. No, you're, no, I love your honesty. It's so admirable. Also from Twitter, <laughs> do you think Fallon would ever date girls? She's quite yeah, the... Yeah, uh, sure. I think she probably has. I don't think she discriminates against any type. I think she's tried it all. I think she will probably try it all again. I don't know. Depends on how long the show runs. I'm sure she'll have, maybe she'll have (laughs) three boyfriends and three girlfriends at once. She was in a love square this whole season. It was a triangle and then it was a square. Because I think if you have three people, it becomes a square if they're not you, right? What is it? Well, yeah, because you're in one position and right. then the rest... So then, yeah, because yeah, a love triangle is when you're choosing between two men, correct? Yeah. Like a love triangle? Okay, so yeah, she was in a love square. It used to be just Culhane and um, Jeff, and then it was Culhane, Jeff, and, and Liam. I think a lady would really spice it up. Yeah, I mean, hey, I'm game. And that would be your second, you know, yeah. lesbian relationship on TV. Who's the first? He's like, what was the first? <laughs> <laughs> Let me look that up. Um, it was on um, Gigi. Sex and Drugs. I watched that. I watched that one. Just that, that, just that one. <laughs> Good. That was the only episode he ever watched. You yeah. did. That's right. I was I was super goofy though, and it, it wasn't it wasn't like a super gratuitous thing. I don't remember. I think it was just she dug her, and they started dating, and then they were friends, and they fake dated. I don't really remember. You type in Liz Gillies lesbian, and a lot of weird things come up. That I buy. <laughs> How many were, did you create? <laughs> Is this your blog? Can I see? Are these your photoshops? It's my Tumblr. (laughs) While he's doing that, um, (laughs) is there another question? Yeah, I want to know if you're going to return to Broadway. (laughs) Yeah, if they'll have me. I told you that last time. I don't know if they'll want they want me anymore. I've been away for so long. I feel like I'm like I'm a scorned woman at this point. Too many cameras in front of me. Uh, I get down to the real thing. I don't know if I have the talent anymore. I'm, this is good for if casting directors are watching this whole thing. I think I've really made myself sound really hireable and talented. Um, I would do Broadway again. Yeah. I would love to do Broadway again. Have you auditioned for anything on Broadway recently? No, I just haven't had any time because I, I'm working. I mean, I, I could I could step into a role for a limited run or something. Yeah. But I maybe next time. That would be cool. Is I there, go back to New York and that would be great. Is there a role that you would want to step into? I don't even know what's on Broadway right now. I'm, 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 it's a shame. I, I haven't seen anything You would have been perfect in Mean Girls. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I just think uh, you would have nailed one of those roles. As a, one of the Mean Girls? I mean, any, anything. <laughs> I think Janice. Janice would have been a good role for you, I think. I auditioned Maybe for a Janice uh, movie for a long time. Really? Yeah. For And I saw that Broadway show. I loved that. And I saw it when I was in Texas, too. I saw two, like, versions of it. And, I, yeah, I mean, when I'm older and I have more... 
I've done a little more hard living. I feel like that would be that would be wonderful. I'd love to play a singer, you know, something like that. Do a biopic or something mm-hmm. like that. Ooh, yeah. But like, if you were thrust into Broadway next week, I would probably be okay. But, yeah, I think instinct would I'd kick be in, and my my uh, you know, I would get I would get my sea legs back. <laughs> would you hop on that bus from Jersey? Um, I don't know if I'd take the bus again. Your mom would drive you. <laughs> my mom would drive me because I still don't drive. <laughs> I want to make it clear. I, I could drive. The, the world if you doesn't want, want you to drive. I don't want to drive. Yeah. The world does not want me driving because, and I would just get food all day. I just get different foods. <laughs> like if I had a car, that's all. All I do is Postmates because that. But that's where I'd be going. I'd get donuts. I'd get ice cream. I'd get, like I'd get like guacamole, and then I'd get chips from somewhere else. Like I'm just super into different foods. I was in your Mini Cooper once. I don't know why every time I'm on this show you bring up my Mini Cooper like it's not a really Didn't dark you subject. abandon it in the middle of the street? Yeah, I left it on Laurel Canyon <laughs> Boulevard, Laurel Canyon. But I'm just happy you got a Mini. I'll just forever. Yeah, I think it's your fault. I know it is. Yeah. yeah. It definitely is. Yeah. Dynasty season two, when do you go back? Do you have a start date? I think I go back in July. I'm very excited to go back. That didn't go down at the end. I wanted it to. I wanted to. I wanted to say. Uh, I think I go back in July. I'm very excited to go back. And then it came out the other way. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I'm so nervous here. And this, it, the monkey's making me feel better though. Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, not anymore. Sorry. <laughs> you woke her up. I'm sorry. So you go back in July. Do you know when? When does Dynasty hit Netflix? I think it hits Netflix. It's got to be. I think it's in May. I kind of came with no information because you kept switching the date around, so I didn't like <laughs> look. I, I, I'm like, he's not going to do any research. I'm not going to do any research. So I don't know. It's going to be on one day. You're going to go on to Netflix and. Maybe you'll see my face and you should press play. Are you ready for that? Because I really do. I, I think do you think it's going to be different once it's on Netflix? Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. It's a show yeah. that you need to watch back to back to back. Mm-hmm. I agree with you. It's kind of like it's the best for if you have like a flu. Because yes. they're an hour long. It's not yeah. light watching, but it is. It's, it's it's light in the way that it's fun and it's frivolous and it's beautiful. and it's so engaging. It's luxurious and engaging. and um, Dramatic as ever. And you get hooked yeah. on the storylines. And yeah. it's really, I mean, it, it keeps your attention because it's always different. It's <laughs> I feel fast. Like you have on your page, like, keywords to say for drama <laughs> show. <laughs> it keeps your attention. It's fast. I mean, you just want to keep watching. And you definitely haven't seen it. But that's okay because I have seen you're it. the birthday boy. I love you. <laughs> I really so have. Okay. Oh. My mom watches every episode. I know your mom, honey. I know your mom watches it. You've said it about ten times. I've watched. He I, loves his I probably watched five or six episodes. I haven't watched the full How's season. She's doing okay. Cute. She's doing well. Good. Yeah, just her and the dogs living life. Me too. I know. That's all I do. A lot of people want to know where Steve is. Oh, oh, that's a really yeah. dark question. Steve's not dead. I got really, with that. I got yeah. really worried. No, Steve's dead. her dog, I, I just, by the way. I just saw oh, Steve. Oh, no, she gave hour. us a warning. Steve is, I don't think people understand. that. I know Steve had a really big Instagram presence. He was like, you know, he had a lot of followers on Instagram to his own, like on his own merit. Like I didn't do much about it. Um, he's like almost 16 years old. He's really old. And he um, lost his eye this year. Oh, it's really sad. Because <laughs> my dog owed that I love more than myself happened to make it come out in a way oh that gosh. is confusing to me. Um, he didn't pop, he didn't like chew his eye, he didn't like attack his eyes. Crawl. He just, Steve went after his food because Steve has a bit of dementia now. He's a little, he's just old, old timer. And I, Otis was defending his bowl. I don't know why I'm defending Otis, it's because he has a hold over me. I just live my life to serve him. And he, really I imagine him behind me like, you tell the story how I want you to. <laughs> anyway, he kind of put pressure on his head and Pekingeses and Pugs and Frenchies because because their eyes are so yeah. massive and their heads are kind of smaller, not than their eyes. You know what I mean? They the eye the eye kind of came. It didn't like it wasn't dangling. It didn't fall on the floor. Nothing stupid. It just kind of um, not that I'm saying that's stupid if that happened to somebody's dog, but it kind of just came out of place and they had to take it out and they had to surgically Aww. remove it. So it's very sad. He slowed down. It's not right to put him in the public eye anymore in that way. The <laughs> public eye. That was funny. No, you're right. He needs oh. to- <laughs> Oh, I could change his Instagram name to the public eye. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is my momager coming out, but maybe there's a way to rebrand him, start over, start fresh. He's still a cutie. He looks exactly the same. He just has one eye, which I kind of like. I always like something to be a little off about everyone I, I associate with. He's <laughs> <that's, that's laughs> something. You don't know what I it is, but I can't put my finger something. on it, but there's something wrong with you. Though. A few things. Um, uh, Steve is a sight to behold now. He's cute. He's, He's still- half a sight. <laughs> Not as much sight as before, but yeah. He's adorable. He's sweet. He's still everybody's favorite. 
you could lose all his limbs, he'd still be everybody's favorite. I Aww. constantly bring in new dogs. Everyone's like, I'm good. Let's just keep with Steve. So Steve's the icon. He's the OG. The He's icon. doing fine. I'll do, <laughs> I'll do like a tr- true Hollywood story on him so Please. people can really know the whole journey of our lives and everything. I think it's a big deal and I think people would watch. I wanted to design actually, and if anyone watches this, no one's going to watch this that has this profession. But if I wanted to design patches because there's so many dogs with one eye. I wanted to design really cute, comfortable, not cutting off circulation eye patches for dogs with one eye. That's a good idea. It's cute. So make it happen with but, you know whatever you call, call people and sh- Shark Tank, baby. <laughs> and you I, handle. It. I'm not gonna go on Shark Tank. You just handle it. But but I think like you gotta have a whole line so it's all special needs dogs. I'm not gonna like dogs. patent it. I'm not gonna do any of the work. Okay. I told you the idea. <laughs> do it. I want to get it done. I'll model. Um, my dogs will model the products and that's it. But we'll only hire one-eyed dogs. Okay. Oh, I like yes. that. But could you bedazzled wheels and, and stuff? I know it's weird because he's kind of the one who did it. But I just he's so beautiful. I just kind of want him to be in the campaign. <laughs> he has a hold on me, guys. It's clear. I'm not. Have you uh, guys, do you want to see the picture again? <laughs> <laughs> on me, please. Okay. On that note. On that note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. Liz, Thanks, guys. What, it was a we, weird one. I, I thought we were doing... What? Really? Yeah. He, do you have a question? You want to close it out? I just want to know how oh, the well, album's coming along. cut out anyway. You can ask me something. There's probably I just want to know how the album's coming along. There's no album, man. <laughs> I'm too busy. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll come to your window with a guitar and a boombox one night, and I'll play you some of my original tunes. And but you know everyone wants your music from you. I know, and maybe that's why I don't want to give it to them. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she gives the people the opposite have time. of what they want. Do you like No Tears Left to Cry? Yes, I do. Mm. I've been singing that all week. Have you listened to the album? No. It's really good. I've seen Ari a bit, though. She's great. She's She was so funny on Fallon last night. It's it's great. I'm very proud of her. Well, why do you think <laughs> Jade connected so strongly with people? I don't know, but she really did, and it's, it's good. I mean, listen, I'm very thankful. I like Jade a lot. I'm happy. I like Jade. I'd hang out with Jade. I'd get a coffee with Jade. I don't drink coffee, but for her, you drink I'd it. have a coffee. Mm-hmm. She might spin in it. That's cool. She's, we have the same spit. <laughs> so it's all good. <laughs> it's all good, man. Has uh, Nickelodeon come to you about a reboot yet? No, no. They're doing a lot of reboots, though. Is that right? Yeah, they're bringing back Double Dare. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, I'm trying real hard. Are you? Oh, honey. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> you're doing, you're doing, you're doing I heard so they're bringing back uh, Blue's Clues. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's That's trying for that, cool. too. No, I don't want that one. <laughs> I don't think you'd be like a good bedtime, good night presence for children. <laughs> What are you talking about? Or even like a wake up energy, morning and night. Like you, you're a good Blues. Like, you're like a three thirty to four p.m. Like that. I'd let my kid watch it, like while he's distracted and it doesn't imprint too much in his mind. I don't know. It's not. Let's it check it's the not mail. about you. It's not about you. It's just. Don't you imagine just sort of someone kind of like lithiumed out for the morning or night for kids? Like, hey, kids. Yeah. It's just not you. You have you're, so much going on. It's thank a compliment, you. Actually, that means a lot. I don't think that way about Steve. His name is Steve, right? Yeah, Steve and Joe. Right, and Joe. Mm-hmm. Right, and Joe. One went to college. <laughs> one didn't. <laughs> Can you guess which one? <laughs> Touch the screen. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. So, I was a little off today. What about a next generation victorious? Yeah, sure. Like, like, cool. maybe you guys aren't in it, but like, it's... I don't think we would be in it only because we're um, all almost forty. <laughs> would be my first guess, but I think it would be great. Yeah, I'll pass the torch. I'll bring a literal torch. <laughs> so the girl it in. in. I'll, I'll char the bottom of her hair, and then I'll hand it to her and say, "You're good," because if she doesn't scream, then she's in. You know what I, I mean, Jasper? Jasper, yes. This is also heavy. Oh my! Oh, so when Jasper hears her name, she she knows it's her name. Yeah. Because Jasper's very smart, right? Is Jasper smarter than a pig? Cause I just hear pigs are so smart, and I kind of am like, are they? And then I see a monkey on a plate, do you? I, oh, wow! All right, wow. All I mean, right. On that, that's just mic drop right there. Yeah, and that's where we end. Yeah. Liz Gillies and Jasper, everybody. Yes. I really hope you enjoyed that conversation. If you did, please subscribe and also check out our podcast. There's a link in the description, and also comment and like and do things. Other interviews are on the screen somewhere, so click them. Thanks for watching.